I read to you a very brief sentence from the Holy Quran. From Surah, meaning chapter, Ali Imran. You owe it to yourself, Muslims as well as non-Muslims, to get hold of a copy of the Holy Quran. I said Muslims as well as non-Muslims. The non-Muslims, they must know, they owe it to themselves, that since there are one billion Muslims in the world today, they ought to know how their minds are working. Even as a missionary, you want to fight the Muslims, an intellectual battle, even then you need the book to arm yourself as to what the other person believes and what he, his book of authority is. And for the Muslim, it's also imperative that in this environment, English-speaking environment, that each and every Muslim here ought to arm himself with an English translation of the Holy Quran. So in Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, ayah number 19, verse 19, Allah Bari Ta'ala tells us, He tells the whole of humanity, addressed to mankind, say, Inna dida in Allah al-Islam, most certainly the religion or the deen, the way to God, acceptable to God Almighty, is Islam. Another place Allah says, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي خَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ That if anyone chooses a religion other than the religion of Islam, he has lost in the hereafter, he has no place. So, what about Judaism? What about Christianity? It's when we say that Islam is the only way, is there no such thing as Judaism? Is there no such thing as Christianity? No, there are such systems. And what does the Quran say? Allah does not accept anything but Islam. Only Islam, submission to God's will. That is what he wants. So now I have to satisfy the chairman and you, my brothers and sisters, how do I justify the statement of the Quran? No Judaism, no Christianity, but Islam. I am telling you, it's quite easy, very easy. You see, the Jew, Judaism came before Christianity and before Islam. That is what the whole world will tell you. Moses lived long before Jesus and long before the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Anybody will tell you that. But I am asking any Jew, you ask any Jew, what is your religion? And he will tell you his religion is Judaism. So I ask him, you can ask the Jew, is this in your Torah? We in Arabic say Torah, the first five books of Moses. The Jews say is the Torah, meaning the law, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy, the first five books of the Holy Bible. Is it in there, your Torah, like what you say the Quran is to us, the Torah is to the Jew. Is it in your Torah, this word Judaism, he will tell you no. Is it in your Mithna, your second resource of information, your commentaries, he says no. If he knows anything at all about his religion, he'll tell you, no, the word Judaism is not in the Torah, is not in the Mithna, is not in the Talmud. So you see now, he's, he's what to say, it's not there. If he said it is, he said, show me, where? He hasn't got it. Where did the word come from? Now you want to know, where did you get it? So, if he knows, he will explain to you that this term Judaism was created, concocted actually by the non-Jews. See the non-Jews in Palestine, they were looking down upon the Jews and they said that the religion 
followed by the children of Judah in Judea is Judaism. Moses didn't say that. David or Solomon, he didn't utter the word. They'd never heard the term Judaism. Jesus never heard the word Judaism. This was a term invented by people from the outside, disparagingly pointing to the Jews that the children, the religion of the children of Judah in Judea is Judaism. And they liked the term and they adopted it. It is not in the Torah, it is not in the Mithra, it is not in the Talmud. If there is any Jew here who knows any better than that, I would like to hear from him or her. Then what was the religion taught by Moses? We believe that the Holy Prophet Moses was a true messenger of God. God was directly in communication with him. And whatever he gave in his time to his people was from God. We accept that. But what was his religion? Because he never heard the term Judaism. If Moses was alive with us here today, or if on the other side, if we have the good fortune of meeting Moses and shaking his hands, and if we asked him, Oh Moses, what is your religion? Since he, had, he didn't hear the term Judaism, he can't say Judaism. I expect him to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. A beautiful definition for the teaching of God. My religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. And I'm responding, I'm telling him, I'll tell him that one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means exactly that in one word. Islam is a religion of total submission to God's will. So what he was teaching was Islam. Maybe he himself didn't know the term Islam, but that is the definition he's giving of Islam. So the teaching of Moses was Islam, not Judaism. Therefore Allah says, only Islam is a religion which is acceptable in my sight. No such thing as Judaism or Christianity. Where did Christianity come from? The word Christianity, where did it originate? Did Jesus give his religion, says my religion is Christianity? Did he say I am the Christ? If you know that Christ is a, is a Greek translation of the Hebrew word Messiah. Messiah in Arabic, Messiah, means the anointed one. Priests and kings were anointed in consecration to their office. That from now on you are my high priest. From now on you are our king. So the Hebrew word for that is Messiah, one who is anointed. The Greek word for anointed is Christos. But Christos is a bit too long. So they lopped off the os and left with Christ. It is a Greek translation of the Hebrew word Messiah. Jesus never heard the term. He didn't hear the word Christ in his lifetime. Believe me. He didn't hear the word Christianity in his lifetime. It was unheard. It's a later on creation. And if we meet Jesus in his second coming, and if we have the good fortune of asking him, Oh Jesus, what is your religion? If he said Christianity, we can ask him further. Say, Oh Jesus, tell us what church you belong to. Are you an Anglican, or a Lutheran, or a Presbyterian, or a Jehovah's Witness, or a Seventh-day Adventist? What are you? What, what church you belong to? Ridiculous, we agree. It's a ridiculous thing. What will he say? What is the name of your religion, O Jesus? Tell us. And he will tell us that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. One word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means a religion of total submission to God's will. God says only Islam. Christianity is your creation. Where did the term come from? It is in the New Testament that the enemies of the followers of Jesus disparagingly they pointed to them at Antioch and for the first time they used the term that these are Christians meaning the worshippers of Christ and the Christians like the term so they adopted it from which we get Christianity Christian Christianity was a term coined invented by the enemies of the followers of Jesus